let's go, baby. How about a game? How about a blowout, baby? That's how you play Pittsburgh Steelers football. Blew out the Kansas City Chiefs 43 to 14. Wait, wait, what you mean? Oh, that was 2015? Oh, my bad. Yeah, it was Chris Boswell. Chris Boswell won us the game. With six field goals, we won 18 to 16. Wait, what? That was the 2016 playoffs? Oh, my bad. It was 19 to 13. We won the game, Antonio. Wait, what? That was 2017. Oh, wait, what just happened then? We, we lost 36 to 10. Let me explain something to you, okay? I'm a sick and tired of watching our football team play the way that we play. Because it's not that we go out there and we lose, okay? It's the manner in how we lose. Because we go out there and look like a junior varsity football team. We play with absolutely no effort in the first two quarters of the game. This particular game, we had no effort for three and a half quarters. We had one drive where we looked as if we had somewhat of a pulse. Okay, we could count another one when Boswell went down there and missed a field goal, whatever the case may be. We looked like absolute garbage. I talked about this coming into this game. I said, we got to play as if we have a pulse. We got to play as if we want to win the doggone game. Obviously, we up to a juggernaut. We playing against a team that done won eight consecutive games. I believe now nine or they won seven and now eight, whatever the number is. We knew we was up and with our back up against the wall. But you got to step in here and play as if you want to win the damn game. We had two guys on offense look like they wanted to play. That's one being Ben, two being Najee Harris. Deontay Johnson out here bowling, playing yo-yo with the dog on football and can't get it back into his hand, fumbling when ain't nobody touch him. We got cornerbacks celebrating pass breakups. We got wide receivers celebrating first downs. When we down by 30, we getting blown out and everybody on the sidelines smiling. We having a great time. I don't understand what the hell is going on with this generation of football players we got now. Because more people are so happy to be on the field, so happy to be seen. Ain't nobody actually trying to win. You on the field trying to get exposure so you can bring, build your personal brand. But you're doing a disservice to the 52 gentlemen that line up on the sideline, pad it up, to go to war with you on Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays, occasionally on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because of COVID. Sometimes Saturdays on special occasions, whatever the case may be, we played like garbage. We had absolutely no heart. Five straight games we've never scored in the first half. We didn't get a single touchdown. First time since 1940. 1940. We've had all-time records throughout this entire season, but bad records. Our run defense has been absolutely atrocious this year. Our pass defense wasn't even prevalent this doggone game. Whole first half, you could have sent out a college football team, a high school football team, and they might have messed around and got a touchdown or a field goal on us. Where is your heart? Where's your pride? Does anybody want to go out there and win football games? Now take a look at the last two weeks of this damn season. Every game is a must win. We've got two divisional games remaining. You got the Browns next week. We got the Ravens the week after that. We got to pray that Kansas City or takes care of business against the Bengals. We got to pray that Baltimore loses next week. Just to give us a shot where week 17 we can mess around and possibly contend to win the damn division. The way I see it, the AFC North will be decided by who wins their final two games. And we got to pray that Cincinnati, well, Cincinnati's got, what, nine wins now? So count, count the division out because they done swept us. We got to hope that we can get this wild card berth. That tie against the damn Lions, that's going to come back to haunt us. The Vikings not showing up in the beginning of the game, that's going to come back to haunt us. The Raiders giving up third down conversions left and right, that's going to come back to haunt us. We cannot continue to shoot ourselves in the foot. Ben's got two more games remaining. And that's all she wrote. The offensive line, we can't seem to go out there and have a consistency at all. Najee Harris is running as hard as you can ask somebody to run. He's hurdling people. He's stiff-arming people into the damn turf, into the dirt, into the damn soot. And for some apparent reason, we can't get this brother into the damn end zone. We can't open up no holes to where he can consistently go over 100 yards. Chase Claypool making catch after catch, but mentally, he just ain't there. Our cornerbacks can't stop a damn wide receiver. Our pass rush outside of T.J. Watt and Cameron Hayward can't seem to consistently get pressure. Mahomes had all day in the damn uh, in the pocket. He was standing there all day waiting for the pass rush to show up. Ain't nobody showed up. He could have had sex with his wife or fiance and had another child. The whole term of the pregnancy would have elapsed before we made it to the quarterback. What kind of football team are we? 
If we gonna lose, we gotta go down swinging. We ain't gonna get blown out left and right. We supposed to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. That means something. Have a little bit of pride about yourself, man. You got two more games to get your head out your ass. Two games to define your season. Two games to turn this son bitch around. Even if we mess around and we fall short of the postseason, you better go and fight. You gotta fight. Have some pride. Play as if your job was on the line. Because I think that's what needs to happen this offseason. Everybody got to understand that they can be cut. They can be traded. Because people walking around here as if they done made it. How many people inside our locker room got, got Lombardi rings? How many of us got Super Bowl rings inside that room? Get your head out your ass, man. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all crazy out here looking wild. We're celebrating past breakups. We down by 30. We flexing towards the goddamn crowd. We pointing for first downs in front of the defenders. Feeling that we, we something special when we losing. Oh, you out of your... Ooh, it's Christmas season. I hope none of y'all got no goddamn gifts. I promise you right now. When you make it back to your house, I need a disciplinary parent that is there to straight up whip y'all asses. I don't care how old they are. I don't care if they deceased. When you go to sleep tonight, your bottom will be bruised. Because we got our ass kicked on the field and you need to get your ass kicked in the locker room. Played like garbage. Absolute garbage. Steelers on three, get it together on six. One, two, three, Steelers, four, five, six, get it together. God damn it. We suck. We fucking suck, man.